We were looking for some way around the portfolio problem. Our trainees were collecting boxes and boxes of evidence which they assembled in the month before the final assessment. There was no formative process, they just assembled all this evidence and sort of wheelbarrowed it in. The TDA were suggesting that the use of VLEs was a good use of resources. The TDA personnel had some ideas of where we might look and we found one we could afford which offered the portfolio work but in reading around what also was available we found that we could get some formative assessment to put in with it and that people who were using VLEs in training were not looking at the portfolio element but were looking at the formative part of bringing evidence in and having the dialogue. So we brought it in and we've been learning ever since. Um, I'm surprised how well they've done so far given that when we ran the training we only just about knew how to use it ourselves. It, it's definitely an effective way of communicating, sharing resources on there, um, being updated on courses, you know, it, it's an instant form of communication. If they had to change something, uh, bring something extra on a course, bring some planning, straight away it's on the calendar and, you know, it's not a case of we would have liked you to all have brought um, some planning with you. It's a case of, right, you've brought it all with you, we changed it slightly to make it even better training for you. So it's just a very, you know, instant and good way of communicating. Um, we've quite often shared resources at our meetings and shown each other how to use them. It's been really good. I use the VLE for storing um, and oh, I upload my evidence to it for the GTP so you've got these QTS standards which the 33 standards that I have to reach by the time I want to qualify in July and I have to have two pieces of really sound evidence for each of those, each subsection of each standard for each key stage that I'm training to teach by the end of my course. So it all has to be there, so I use that as a central place to store that which is accessible to my assessor and my school trainers. Um, I'll, put, I'll post things up there and get feedback from my trainers so they'll write things to me on my VLE space just to say how I might tweak or improve bits and pieces or you know, just general feedback like that. You can immediately put into action your targets and if you're going to be working on your targets the very next day your mentor can see that you're working on them and you, the work that you do counts and it's, um, it's very encouraging to have that so that you know that as soon as you've started making changes from your targets and improving yourself, they can see straight away that you're doing that and then move you on so you become a better practitioner in your job. The TDA coupled with Ofsted have put in a requirement that we know as you go through the year at what point of their progress each trainee is. That's a funny sentence. But so we should know the progress. In the past we've known qualitatively how well our trainee is doing. We haven't known quantitatively. So this actually gives us a tool straight away. We can ask the trainee and the school trainer to say where they are against QTS standards. You can personalise your own learning. It's down to you to do it, which is, is good because um, it doesn't mean you're waiting for somebody else to do it. So I can go on there, assess myself, see what I need to do, and then do an overview of it. So I can instantly see, oh, that area, I need to actually go and work on that one. That I'm doing quite well at. I'm pleased about that. And, you know, it's tailored for us. We, I, as um, a teacher, have different targets from the next person in my class. And we're working in very different environments. So it's exactly what I need to do to become a better teacher. And exa exactly what the person sitting next to me needs to do for them to become a different teacher. And that might be very different things. It, it's timely. It meets a need that we have as an organisation and it offers, I think, the trainees better ways of moving forward. And if we're saying we're not just happy with past now, we want you to be outstanding, which I think they're capable of, it's the same trainees in essence as, as going back, then now they'll know where they are at this point and know what they need to do to get better. So we are quite enthusiastic that they look at the grades, say what they're doing and compare it with their trainers, discuss it and know how to target improvement. So it, it, the best elements of assessment for learning is what we're teaching and using with the children, um, using it with the trainees. If, we, uh, if you go on a step further, we're asking them to be reflective in what they put up on the evidence they put in the discussion. 
the TDA is putting in the Masters in Teaching and Learning in, over the next two or three years, whereby they'll expect every new teacher to do a Master's degree in the first three years. A key element of Master's programs is reflective practice. So you're echoing, yet again, what's, what's going on elsewhere. And I don't think you could get that re level of reflective practice unless you've got a dialogue running, and we're moving in that direction as well. The VLE has two advantages for us. The ability for the student to, to, to look at what they're doing, to think about what they're doing, to consider what they're doing, and, th and thus become a reflective practitioner, and thus become much better at teaching. The other is it gives, it gives us... Uh, and all my trainees, a place where we can consider together what's going on. Now, whether that's considering it because it becomes, in a, in a sense, paper uh, that we look at together, or whether we can, we can look at it together even though we are physically apart from one another, it enables us to think together about an issue. So, shared reflection. If you're using a visual uh, medium, then being able to see becomes becomes obvious. You can identify other GTPs as mentors at, on your VLE space so that then they have access to everything that you've put on. So it's good to get feedback between each other like that. I think it's a really nice idea. I don't do it so much, but it's because I'm so busy. But when I do have these conversations with other people, it is good. And more so, to be honest, to just be able to just quickly post someone and see how they're getting on because it's reassuring to know that, you know, especially when things are really challenging, it's good to know that other people are finding it difficult as well because sometimes it can be a bit isolating doing this course because everyone around you is a qualified teacher. They all really know what they're doing. They're really, really good, really professional. Don't get nervous about children misbehaving and things like that. So it's just good to know that other people in the same boat is quite reaffirming like that. Um, there's three, three of us that are dance and drama and one that's English that have sort of built up our own support network. We've added each other as mentors on, um, on VLE so that we can see each other's CPD activities. We um, Also three of us being drama and English, drama is part of the English curriculum. Um, we have essays to write relating to our subjects. So we do email them around to each other or load them onto the VLE so that we can see what each other's written. Um, some questions completely baffle some of us and others get them straight away so it's looking and they're providing stimulus for us which is which is a great idea the first sessions of training we had the company in to do the training then we tried to do our training ourselves but what we were training people on was how to switch it on how to find your way around it it's then a whole term later uh, six months later, you realise that what you actually want to do is give people training and support in what they should be doing with it. And we're just at that stage now. So training will start next month. Training is too hard a word, but how you can use it to best effect. And that's, if you like, the next stage. So subsequent cohorts of, of trainees will come into an organisation that's ex more experienced. And we're facing the issue we've got the first round of assessments coming up in a few months' time. We've never assessed trainees without a portfolio. So how we do it, how we organise it, how we pay the consultants we use, all that has got to be worked out. But it must be better to be collecting the evidence as they go along and talking about it uh, than just bringing the wheelbarrow forward. I was so excited about it when I first had it. Um, and I was doing everything straight away, bang, 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 bang. And after a while I thought, God, I'm so fed up with this. And I left it for two weeks. I, I still had my handwritten notes, but I thought I just, I just couldn't be bothered at the end of the day after writing lesson plans after lesson plan to, to go and load more up onto the VLE. But it's still there when you get over your phase of ugh, having to do it over and over again. And it becomes natural now. So I know when I've done something, I load it up. And it's really handy because we have to pass all these QTS standards to be able to just load our evidence on straight away and leave it there and not have to worry about trying to find it again on our computer somewhere. It, it's, it's great. The trainees, I think, knew when they were being interviewed, because we talked about this way back, that they would be expected to be working online or working with the VLE and the laptops. So in a way, there's, I guess, a little bit of self-selection going on. The people who didn't have much choice were the school trainers and the visiting tutors. And their 
it's not so obvious why, why they should do it. We've had to prompt a little bit and offer more training, and I guess we haven't offered enough training for the school trainers or the visiting tutors who've been hitting me ever since. Um, they haven't found it easy. There is a, a hill to get over with this VLE. It's not actually very complicated, but you've got to use it a few times before you remember where everything is, otherwise you get lost. And we're at the point, I think, of them beginning to recognise the value and be marginally frustrated at the difficulty. Um, and I suspect by the summer we will have a, com a will more willing workforce. But the school trainer and the visiting tutors, if they use it once every three months, I'd, I'd like them to use it once a month, but if they use it once every three months, they forget the instructions, forget the bits and pieces. But the trainees have been much, found it much easier to use, probably because they're using it once a week. Uh, we put all our resources on it as well, so if they want a new lesson observation form or they want books or this, that or the other, they're all on there, so they've had to learn that. I benefit from, I obviously work with my school trainer and we share the same office. We have conversations about my teaching, I get direct feedback and it's those things over the kettle or in passing comments when he's observed a lesson that really help me because it's there in the moment and we're engaged in that conversation. The conversations we have over the VLE, we do, it's kind of a little bit contrived, we have conversations on the VLE so that people know that we're having conversations. Certain sections of it I find difficult to navigate just because we, we d I, I discussed this with Michelle as well. We want to be able to personalise our own space. The resources section on the VLE, although it is in different sections, for me it's very difficult to navigate. So I'd just like to be able to personalise it just to my own tastes, I think. It would be good to have more freedom to redesign my VLE page the way that I want to see it, so that the way that things are categorised and the way things are stored just makes sense to me, because there are things on there, you know, especially I've downloaded a lot of files that's one thing, there's a big bulk of things on there for me because it will be sketchbook pages, so there's 25 pupils in a class, so that's 25 bits of paper if I wanted to look at a whole class to evidence my marking or something like that. And they're just stored as files, for example, so they've just got these names and a long list, which doesn't mean anything. It makes it really difficult for me to find where things are and which bit I need. So, say, to have the facilities to have those as thumbnails instead of text would lead me to it. There's just little things like that. So, you know, in essence, it's really easy to use and it's really good and it makes sense. But there's just a few little cosmetic things like that I think I would change so that it just made a little bit more sense to me. I can look at it, one can look at it, and see of the 27 trainees in that group where they're strong, where they're weak collectively. So we could, if we wished, address our training in certain areas. So it's got a collective use. It also means the assessment part at the end can be looked at several days beforehand um, or our awards panel, which is like a university moderation group or whatever, if it's held in a room which has got internet access, can look at all the trainees' folders. So it, it's opened up avenues we didn't realise. Some of them, like the one, um, how much dialogue does the trainer need to put on and the trainee put there, and at the moment it might be contrived at places where we're asking them to go on, we need to find the balance. And it may be a different balance for different pairs between trainee and trainer. Um, how many trainers go on is another question. We started with one with each trainee and one visiting tutor, but then schools' ITE coordinators wanted to be on there so they could see what the trainers were doing. And then somebody said, I wanted a tutor, and then I go to a second school and I want one there. And so there's an element of how much we can push the goodwill of the company to give us more sites and more sites. All this we need to learn. We've yet to have any NQTs. They start probably in April, the first ones, and then NQT will go into a school as a newly qualified teacher with a year's program. If the school doesn't have anybody on the VLE, they won't be able to use it. So we've got to take it further into the school use, all of which will be a learning curve. But I noticed the TDA has changed and written to us only today or yesterday. The CEDP, which has been a frustration for years, the Career Entry Development Profile, is now moving to a very much more directed performance management task which will line up with performance management on virtual learning environments which schools are using. So it, it ties in.